You're watching WMAR 2 News. For this digital news update, I'm Kelly Swoop. As skyrocketing inflation across the country impacts our wallets, here at home, the Senate on Sunday passed the Inflation Reduction Act. It's expected to pass the House this week. Democratic Senators Chris Van Hollen and Ben Cardin laid out what the bill's passage will mean for Marylanders. The Democratic-backed Inflation Reduction Act ultimately aims to address the economy, investing $300 billion in deficit reduction. It will also address health care and prescription drugs, allocating $64 billion to extend inspiring Affordable Care Act subsidies by three years. Its legislation, Senator Cardin believes, will benefit Maryland taxpayers. There will be some, I think, immediate impact because of the confidence factor. They know that uh, the Congress has acted, that we have provided clear direction of what's going to happen. We expect there will be some immediate uh, actions in regards to the health care system itself. Democratic lawmakers say Marylanders would quickly benefit from the health care component of the bill. Well, Thursday, the Maryland Insurance Administration is hosting two meetings to help people impacted by recent weather events. The meetings are virtual and aim to help people whose homes were damaged find answers about the next steps. Those meetings are from noon until 2 p.m. and from 5 until 7. We have the link to join those meetings on our website. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. I'm tracking decreasing clouds as we head through your Thursday, expecting temperatures to be warm into the mid to upper 80s as we push into the afternoon, but it will be noticeably drier behind this cold front. Secondary front really does reinforce cooler air as we head into your Friday, but tomorrow's highs will top out in the mid to upper 80s. And as we head into the weekend, the numbers get more agreeable. We're talking about dipping into the low to mid 80s with less humid air. It's going to be nice through the start of the work week. Unfortunately, rain chances return Monday. Temperatures remaining in the lower 80s through Wednesday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com. We'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news throughout the day. And if you're looking for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in your app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop.